Milwaukee Tool came out with a new hybrid M18 70,000 BTU propane heater. This is either going to take an M18 battery or you're going to plug it into an extension cord. Very simple to do. The M18 battery slides in the back. You have two prongs that it's going to connect to the M18 battery on, so it's not a very smart heater as far as that goes. It's only the positive and negative, or you can plug in your extension cord at the bottom. When you're putting this together, you will have to put the handle on the top. Very simple, four Phillips screws, they come with it. And then you'll want to connect the propane hose to the bottom. After that, we will connect our propane hose up to the top, making sure our propane is off. And since you're using this, we would like to make sure we're getting enough fresh air. This is not something you're going to heat your house with. You're going to want to make sure that there is enough fresh air rolling through that you're not going to get carbon dioxide poisoning or carbon monoxide poisoning, anything like that. You want to be sure to be safe. So if you have this in a small area like an ice fishing shanty or anything like that, be safe. We'll turn our fuel on. Then all we have to do is make sure that this guy is on, the fan is on high, you'll hear that clicking. We'll push and hold the ignition button, and then it's going. We'll let that go after about 10 seconds, and voila, we have heat coming out, a very, very significant amount of heat. So in the back, we have a control over the fan which is very significant. You can hear the amount of fan that's going through. That's going to change the amount of fuel that you're burning. That's on low, that's on high, and we can go anywhere infinitely in between. So a very significant amount of heat. On low, it's really not loud at all, as you can hear. On high, it can get a little bit noisy, but nothing nothing like any of the electric plug-in diesel salamanders that we used to have. The amount of heat that comes out of this is intense. I mean, just standing here, I can feel it. Obviously, it's going to be shot out with the fan and forward. With the fan on low, I can feel heat out maybe 18 inches, and then it starts to dissipate with the fan on high. She really starts to cook. Let's come in and take a look at how much heat we actually have coming out of this guy. The heater is currently on low. And while it's hard to see in there, we are running anywhere between 430 and 575 degrees for the max. In a lot of places, at least on this thermal imager, we're running between 248 degrees and 1000 degrees. You can see there we have, uh, it was almost 582, 570. I mean, this thing is cranking out heat. That's on low. This is on high, and we are a little too close, I would say. Uh, 780, 800 degrees is a high, and I, I know this thing is hard to read, uh, especially when it goes off to the side. 787 is off to the left, 701 is in the center, 726. This dude is taken our 1,000 square foot garage and probably brought the temperature up 15 to 20 degrees already. This thing is absolutely amazing. The propane connection on this is going to connect up to like a 20 pound tank. It's not going to be something that you are going to just readily connect to a little one pound tank. I think this uses way too much propane to connect to something that small. So you have a 20, 30 pound tank or anything larger, this thing will connect up just fine. It's got its own regulator sitting right here. It works great. We've, we've seen a lot of battery operated or hybrid types of these heaters out before and they're amazing. They're great for people who might not have power where they want to be all the time but are willing to carry around some propane or have some propane with them and the heater. It, it, it's awesome. The amount of heat you get out of this is great. So if you're in the market for something like this, these are sitting all over my Home Depot aisle for $229. They come obviously with the hose. They do not come with a battery, do not come with a charger. That's just going to be the heater and the propane hose. You're going to supply the power either with an extension cord or the battery and the propane tank and propane. With that said, hot. Make sure you have a door open. They work awesome. They just need a little bit of clean air coming in and you're going to need a lot of propane. People are going to ask how long does it take to go through this. On high you could go through this tank easily within five hours max. 
this stuff sucks propane, but you're getting a ton of heat out. And it is fairly clean. As far as smelling it here, once it's burning, I don't smell a lot of fumes. I do have the door open, so I'm letting a lot of things in and out. But it's being this close, no real fumes. To turn this off, highly recommended that you just turn off the gas. That's gonna allow everything in here to burn out. This heater is gonna do its thing and eventually you'll just have the fan, you won't have anything running, and then you can flip the switch and turn it off. Wouldn't wanna turn it off with the gas still running. Thermocoupler in there is going to be warm, still gonna let the gas out. If you wanna turn this guy back on, hit your switch on, you're gonna have that ticking again. Turn your fuel on, push and hold the igniter, and since it's warm, we won't have to hold it that long. And that clicking will go away, evidently. And that's going to be an ignition that's going in there to make sure that you're burning all the fuel. You cannot run this without power. Lots of people have always asked, can you run it without some sort of power, just the heater and the propane? Not possible. Electronic ignition on the inside, and it needs the fan to push out the air so that it makes sure that everything is working well. I really like this heater because you have the option of the Milwaukee battery or the extension cord. I think that makes a big deal for a lot of people who are either A, on the job site, or gonna buy this and use this at home to heat their garage, to work on something, or heat a trailer. There's a lot of options that you have and you don't necessarily have to be in the Milwaukee tool line, although it would help out greatly for most people as they would just use a battery in this rather than an extension cord. Either way, I think this is gonna be great for a lot of people. Tons of heat out of here, does use a lot of propane, so if you're you know, filling 20 pound tanks quite often, this is something right up your alley. If you don't wanna fill 20 pound tanks and you don't have them sitting around, you might want to look for a different option in heat. I think that's just plain and simple. The amount of heat is going to correlate with the amount of fuel that it's using. 70,000 BTUs is pretty good and it's kicking it out there quite intently. Uh, I really think that having this near any type of anything like the camera or the thermal imager like we had was way too close, way too hot to stand there. And just having this running on low has this whole garage probably up to 85, 90 degrees in minutes. And we were at 65 just a little bit ago. I mean, this thing just rocks. So you've seen it before from other brands. That brand also had a lot of great things going for it. And this is very, very similar to it. I think they probably put a few upgrades in here, but with that said, this is a nice unit. From running it, nothing is hot all the way around here. So you don't have to worry about that. You only have to worry about someone sticking their hand in. That would be horrible on the inside, but the heat pushed out this way that is fairly safe to have around a lot of things. You can push it in a direction where you're not gonna be and it'll heat up the area. $229, as I said, they're all over the Home Depot center aisles here in Michigan. So let me know if you've seen these guys in your Home Depot and if the price is any different where you're at, leave that in the comments. Always interested in your thoughts on what you think of this tool. Share this video if you have the opportunity. We always appreciate that. Give us a like on this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.